The name's Haruhiro Katase. My father ran a bar, and thanks to him, I also run a bar. I provide rare Japanese sake that my father buys, and a lot of regulars come by to drink at my bar. Haruhiro-kun? The usual, please. Sure thing! This is one of the oldest regulars, Hayami-san. I don't know what he does, but he comes here every once in a while. Here you go! Thanks. Yeah. The sake here is really something else. By the way, I've got some rare sake today. How about it? My father basically hugged it when it came in. Your father did that, huh? I'd love to try some. I would talk to my customers while casually chatting about nothing. I would enjoy this today and tomorrow. Or so I thought. In the warehouse. Ah! You've definitely broken some bones. You'll have to stay in the hospital for a month. B but I've got to close up shop for a month. And it's not like I could just suddenly start working again after I get out of the hospital either. Don't be too upset. The bones will fix up fine. Unlike the relationship between my wife and I. <laughs> That's not funny! Uh, I don't want to be in the hospital for a month. I'm going to be so bored. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be handling your case. My name is Akine Miyamura. Oh, nice to meet you. All right, I'll be back around dinner time to check on you. Okay. You have great luck! Uh, me? Who else would I be talking to? You know that that nurse is a beautiful girl known around these parts, right? She's honest and hardworking, but she's kind of unfriendly, and it's so perfect! Uh-huh... I tried my best to get her to be on my case, but I can't get it to work! Honestly, I'm okay with dying, but I wish she'd be on my case! <laughs> Uh, uh, your blood pressure! Nurse! Nurse! Come on, akine -chan. It's time for your dinner, Katase-san. Thanks. Three days went by after I started staying in the hospital. I started figuring out ways to kill time, and it wasn't too bad after all. I started getting used to life in the hospital. It's mostly fish today. Right, thank you. I'll do it. Huh? You've got broken bones. I'm sure it's tough to eat. Say ah. My foot is broken! You don't like me feeding you? No, it's not that, but this isn't about whether I like it or not. Then ah. <laughs> mm, thanks. <sighs> I'll be back around when it's time for rounds. Goodbye. Here to check on your heart. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Do nurses not have better things to do? Uh, you're kind of close. I'm not that close. Huh? Wait, is it really necessary for you to get that close? You must be misunderstanding. I just couldn't hear your heart well. Uh, sorry. Wait, why am I apologizing? No problems. Excuse me. This is not what I was told. She's not unfriendly at all! If anything, she's a little excessive. I don't know why, but she just keeps sticking on to me all the time. What's going on? Then one day... Ah, Miyamura-san's coming to examine me now. Excuse me, I'm gonna check up on you. Yes, please. Lift up your shirt. Uh, okay. Why are they all staring? This is so embarrassing! I can't hear it well. She's closer than before. Wait, what? Don't move. I need to get a good sound on your heart. Right. The exam continued. All right, we're done for the day. Thanks. Thank you. Also, um, I'm actually not Akine. I'm actually her twin sister, Kaho. There's that super famous twin mix-up! Oh, I love them both! Sato-san, your blood pressure! Calm down! We look identical, don't we? Eh, you two are similar. <laughs> Were you surprised? 
Uh, I was so surprised that I couldn't find the words to say anything. Man, the twin mix-up. Right? I know, I know. By the way, I'm actually on your case too, so you can check the colors of our stethoscopes to tell us apart. Akine is red, and I, Kaho, am blue. Okay. See you later. Huh? No way. Everyone was surprised, but their eyes and freckles, and even their smell were different. Mm, whatever. Afterwards, they kept coming to my room to check on me. Akine-san and Kaho-san did look similar, but their personalities were completely different. You're on duty today, huh? That's right. Let's take your temp, huh? Okay. Can I see the thermometer then? I'll measure for you. Uh, no, no, I just broke the bone in my foot, so I can take my own temp. Oh, come on, it's not a big deal. Don't mind the details and give me control of your body. Oh, my hand. Fine, but at least don't rub my head. Oh, sorry, my hand just started moving on its own. As you can see, the red-eyed sister, Akine, was a mature woman. She had plenty of tolerance to goof around with, and it made you really want to tease her. The green-eyed sister, Kaha, on the other hand... Open your mouth. I can eat on my own. You don't like me feeding you, huh? I don't mind. They're very much the opposite of one another. Can't I say, son? Can you not look away? I can't aim well. Uh, sorry. Say ah. Um. All right, I've got work, so eat the rest on your own. Kaho wasn't like her sister at all. She was very sweet and friendly. Put another way, she could have a man wrapped around her finger at any moment. Several weeks went by as I was being nursed back to health, and I was finally able to move using crutches. This is so nice. I can finally move. Hm? Are those the twins? Sorry for calling you two up out of the blue. That's fine. Let's get to the point. Would you two be alright to have lunch? I've got some good lunch imported. No, thank you. We're good. Excuse us. Wait! Ugh. I just saw something... Well... Something. What are those eyes? You look like you've seen an injured animal. I'm not the kind of human that needs pity from the likes of you. Right. I'm the professor's son. Do not look down on me. <laughs> what a weirdo. Think. There you go. All done for the day. Thank you. Oh yeah, Sis was talking about getting lunch together today. Lunch? Why would I do that? Oh, it's fine. Who cares about the reason? I'm here too, so come by the nurse's station during lunch. Huh? Wait, what about lunch? I'll prepare it on my end. You really like to decide things on your own. Excuse me. You came all this way on a broken foot, huh? You're the one that called me over. Oh, relax, you. Why do you guys have your stethoscopes on anyway? The colors are opposite. Huh? No, no way. How could you tell? It's more amazing if you can't tell. You're the weird one. You know that we can even fool our parents if we haven't seen them in a while. Really? Seriously? How could you tell? That's... I told them everything that let me tell them apart. So, yeah. That's how I tell you apart. Huh. <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? No, it's not that, but we've had this kind of interaction before too, right? Oh, yeah, I remember. It was when I was in middle school. There were twins who were known for being the toughest delinquents around. Then something happened to them. You can't run now. <laughs> this is the end of the strongest duo, huh? Ugh, run, sis, it's fine. Leave me. What kind of sister leaves behind her younger sibling? I've got to get through this somehow. Get him, boys! Over here! Officer! A fight! A fight is broken loose! Uh, what? We can't handle the cops! Run! Phew. Everyone's big and bad till the cops show up. H hey, what the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? Don't answer my question with a question. Where are the cops? The cops? Oh, that was a lie. If I really called the cops, it'd be annoying to explain everything, you know? Th then why did you... Oh, I see. Thank you. 
I'd like to thank you, too. It's really all right. I'm gonna go now. Hang on! What is it? L let's play! I think you'll have fun. I'm not in elementary school. They continued to follow me around after that. People even called me the secret boss of the underworld because of how much they followed me around. And they looked so similar that they would try to fool me often. You know it's really obvious, right? But... No fun. What? The two continued talking about how they wanted me to make them their wives once we got older and whatnot. But eventually, they moved, and we were separated. But I didn't expect to run into them again. <laughs> You're too late to notice. <laughs> Sorry. We've known for a while now. <laughs> we forgive you, but you better be ready. Huh? <laughs> the two bothered the crap out of me, like Kaho had warned me. They were even closer than before, and clearly way too close for comfort. <laughs> You're too close! You're happy. You know you're all right with it. They rejected me, but they're going to go with him. They're going to regret that. Late night hospitals are terrifying. I'm not used to this at all. Wait, what's that voice? Is someone up this late? These are definitely you, right? D that's Is that Akine-san and Kaho-san? Sis. I can't believe that the beautiful twins used to be delinquents back in the day. This is the greatest discovery of all time. <laughs> the bad guy. Alright. Let's get into the brass tacks here. If you don't want me to show everyone these photos, you need to be my girlfriends. But, but that's not something you should ever do as a sane adult. Is that something you can say, delinquents? Ugh. If people find out about this, they might fire you. My father is the professor here. That's... Now I'm going to have fun with you two every day. I want you to swap out, huh? <laughs> I'm so excited. Akini-san! Kaho-san! Our hero san Did you hear that whole thing? Yes. I don't want to quit being a nurse. I love this job. Me neither. I'll do something about this. I swear. Huh? Leave it to me. This is nothing. So don't worry about a thing. I don't want these two to have to deal with this crap. We gotta do something. I started gathering information to shut the training doctor up. I'm sure that doctor's got some dirt on him, too. Luckily, I've got a lot of connections with all the other patients. Time to dig. I called out the training doctor the day before I was leaving the hospital. What is it? 
I'm going to be blunt with you. Stop threatening Akane-san and Kaho-san. Threatening? What are you- I know that you're threatening them using photos from when they were in school. You can't weasel your way out of this. So what? I'm just trying to build a win-win relationship with them. That's not how you use that phrase. Stop it right now! No, it's my freedom. A right, as the professor's son. I don't know about any of that. Whatever. If that's how you want to do this, then I have my ways too. What? I've gathered all the evidence of how you're abusing your position of power to hurt people. You're gonna be in a world of pain if people find out about this as well. What? Check and mate. Then you do what you want. I'm sure my dad will make that disappear too. There's no point in doing that. No way. Yes way. My father isn't just any professor. He's THE professor. But... What can I do? I heard everything. You're... Hayami-san?! What are you doing here?! Because I'm the owner and manager of this hospital. Huh?! You there. Please tell me that that's all made up. That's... No, it's all this fool's doing! This fool? What are you talking about? Haruhiro-kun is a hard-working young man. He's much more trustworthy than the likes of you. Uh. You will be dealing with a formal hearing for disciplinary review. Be prepared. But... Apologize to Haruhiro-kun. You don't need to apologize to me. Just don't talk to Akine-san or Kaho-san anymore. Uh, fine. Haruhiro-kun, I'm looking forward to going to your store once you recover. I'm so thirsty for some of that sake. Sure thing! I'll find some rarities for you to drink. Afterwards, the two apologized to everyone that was involved in the incident. The training doctor was sent off to the middle of nowhere to fix his attitude. What a troublesome man. I mean... I'm going to be able to leave the hospital without any worries. So good timing. Huh? You two? What are you doing here? You saved us so we came here to repay you. Thank you so much. You really don't have to thank me. You should be thanking the hospital manager. I didn't do much at all. That's not true! It's all thanks to you! Akine-san... Haruhiro-san, we want to tell you something. Hmm? What is it? Yes, um, we love you. We love you a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, why?! Call 
settle down. <laughs> You're just as cute as ever. Uh, I'm not cute. Stay still. We're going to start our nightly exams. Nightly exams? Hey, Haruhiro-san? You gotta figure out who's better in bed, huh? Uh, I can't tell you that! I was able to make a full recovery and leave the hospital. As for Kaho and Akine... You two are here again, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Sake, please! We're going to stay in your room after we get drunk. My dad and grandpa got married deep in love. Me? I've never even had a girlfriend. Kind of an embarrassment to the men in my family. Oh, anyway, my name is Haruhiro Nasu. I know I should be more worried instead of making pasta. Ooh, this looks amazing! Now I'm ready if I ever find a girlfriend. Whatever. I'm going to make these documents and take a bath before going to sleep. Two Motto. It's a huge food company. I like tomatoes, so I joined their company. These will be the reports, sir. Hmm. Will be. Are they going to evolve into my reports? Uh, um... You need to use proper grammar. Right, Nasukun? Me again? I think everyone understands what's going on. It's just a report, so does it matter? Ah, great job, Nasukun. That's the way I like dead end workers. Yeah, yeah. Can you put these flowers in a vase for me? I got them from a lady at the store. They're dry flowers, so they're going to rot if you put them in water. <laughs> like the soul of a human. Wait, no! These are chrysanthemums! She really dried these! <sighs> All for me. Or for when you go to pray. I suppose she considers me God? Or someone who's dead? This insane man who's so full of himself is my manager, Tomato. He's 41 and is the CEO's son. He's actually pretty good at his job, which is aggravating. You! You're going to be 28 next month, huh? Another year as a virgin, huh? <laughs> what is this? I want to squish him like a tomato! Happy birthday! This is your present. Go on your sales run. Oh! It's the really popular food product. <laughs> I invited the clients out to a fishing trip at the crack of dawn, and they were mad. That's horrible! Why do people make mistakes? Maybe that's just how we are. Uh, I'll go first thing in the morning. So can you get an appointment for me? Good morning! Good morning! Do you have an appointment? I'm from Tumato. I'm Haruhiro Nasu. Um, I don't see any appointments under Nasu. I knew it! I'm the employee from that long-haired blonde guy. Oh! He's our sales department manager. I'm here to settle things. Here's some snacks. And on top of that... It's the most expensive seven iron that he made me buy. You can swing at my butt to take out your anger first. Uh, hang on one moment, please. Ma'am, there's someone who's prepared to take a beating here. 
I'm so glad I could apologize. I was surrounded by security while I waited for the CEO. Hey. Huh. Um, why are you keeping my guests surrounded by security? We sense danger! Ma'am! They're just doing their job! Right. I'm sorry. Would you mind keeping me pushed against the floor? Huh? Then I'll do it myself! I'm so sorry about that! That one of our stupid employees acted in that way! I'm so sorry! It's fine. No, ma'am! I need you to use this number seven iron! <laughs> I didn't know that there were people this funny. I'll listen to you more, so come on into our guest room. I am so incredibly honored! I didn't realize that your company made dried foods. Huh? He really didn't explain anything, did he? Our stupid little... <laughs> he grabbed my hands to greet me and... Maybe it's a coincidence that I ran into you today. No, it was destiny! Or something along those lines. I had him taken out by security. I'm so... So sorry. It's really great stuff. Um, I didn't get your name yet. The blonde guy did this? No, I did. Oh, okay. Hey, let's trade business cards. Kaho Amida-san, 29. And she runs the company Amida's Tuna Store. She started the business when she was 26. And she's been all over business magazines. She seemed kind of cold and unfriendly at a distance. But once you talked to her, she seemed much more calm. Yeah, let's keep this going. You should have come from the get-go. Thank you, ma'am. What? What is it? Something came shooting out at me! What is this, a button or something? Uh, did you look? Ma'am, a very fine pink. You're supposed to pretend you didn't see. I figured in this situation, it would be too obvious of a lie. Ugh, then just forget it. You're staring. I figured in this situation, it would be too obvious of a lie. Huh? You're going to be showing off your erotic body as the CEO? I'm gonna have to deal with all these people telling me that I made you that way. Let's just stay here till everyone goes home. I have a sewing set. Want me to sew it on? Were you a mom in your past life? I don't remember my past life. I brought some tea. Uh, um, the customer is, uh, sweating right now and he's changing, so hang on like five minutes. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. Ugh, that's so mean, ma'am. I'm sorry, but, uh, here, I took my blouse off already. Go, you've only got four more minutes. Don't narrate this like it's some kind of action movie! Ugh, damn it! I don't even have time to look at you! You were going to look. Ahem, <clears throat> let's continue tomorrow for the details. Uh, yes ma'am. Excuse me. Sorry. You got that contract from the dumpster fire? Great job, Nasu. I'll be by tomorrow for the contract again. Thank you. I'll be taking care of the rest. Here we go. Look, the world is like a river. You were washed away downstream, and I'm going to be finishing. Is that really that strange? Honestly, I don't even know what you're saying, so just do what you want. <laughs> it's time to put up the flag of victory. I'm going to go over to explain what's going on during lunch. The next day... Oh, Nasu-kun. Sorry about yesterday. That's fine. But I want you to know that my boss will be coming here to handle the contract. 
You must be mad about yesterday. You think that I'm going to send in the blonde moron because I'm mad? No, that's not why. It's not? I want to talk about the details with you at least. Understood. I'm so sorry about yesterday. Really. You know, I'm totally fine now. I can stretch like this and it's fine. Mm. Diggy! Huh? Why? Why? D did you... Uh, pink yesterday and black today. Thank you for the sexy look at that black bra. Ugh, I wore a different blouse this time. Can we get into the contracts? No! But I have to hurry! Why are you hurrying? Oh my god, you didn't come for the same contract? You're here for a new one? Ugh, dang. You caught me. You're an honest man. I can't have my stupid boss see you like that. He is not allowed to see something this great. No way! Huh? Um, are you sure you should be doing something like that to your own boss? I might not be, but I'm at the end of my patience of working for that stupid old guy. Y you're ready, aren't you? So you're going to quit for me? Huh? No, for me. You're so manly. You don't use a woman as an excuse. I'm just saying that I can't stand him. The fact that you made me take my blouse off means that you're already man enough. You can't right now? You can't just wait a little? Here? It's work! I can't! I need you to push this now! Your stamp of approval! You wanna push me down now? Nasuku, no! Haruhiro-kun, you're 27, right? Only two years younger and you're so aggressive! Oh, uh, this is not good! If the manager gets here like this, it's all over! Please! Whoa, you're going to beg? But fine, let's change spots. I agree. Let's get out of here. <sighs> you're too aggressive. But fine, I've decided. But just to confirm. Sure. I'm almost 30. Are you okay with someone this old? Of course. You did it! There we go. I've finally been able to have a personal life instead of a, just a professional life. Here, this store. Wait here. Huh? What about you? Oh, you? I can't go like this. Girls gotta get ready. I don't understand. But hurry up, cause that thing is coming! You're in such a rush. What is that thing? I can't let that manager see that beautiful woman. But if I'm not mistaken, she did say something about personal life? Did I say something that would make her misunderstand? S sorry to keep you waiting. I was just getting ready. Does it look good, Haruhiro-kun? I'm such a lucky man. I can tell. Even as someone who's not popular, this is the face of a woman in love. I I I'd never been wanted that much, and, you know, I'm ready to go wherever to do whatever you want today. It's free time tonight. I did this to the top of the line corporation CEO. I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> Nam! Oh, come on, you can call me Kaho, Haruhiro-kun. I'm so sorry, ma'am! Why are you begging again? Uh, I see, men love miniskirts, don't they, you pervert? I can't fix it! The wound is too big! I apologized. I said that I didn't want to have the manager see her like that because he isn't deserving. But then it turned out to seem like a confession! I wasn't confessing! You know, you really made this almost 30-year-old woman into you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's stop drinking. No! You're so cute, like a little child. You said you didn't ask me out, then you start just casually flirting with me? You like messing with me? Ah, I've seen that cold look in a magazine once. I have no experience dating, and I'm not trying to. I haven't dated either. No way. You must be popular. 
Of course not. I was a bland girl until college. I was a little fat, too, so I was called ham. I worked all the time and lost weight. I didn't know you didn't lose your boobs when you lost weight. Yeah, I can't... Yeah, I can kind of see how you're not popular. Oh, right. I'll do anything, so please forgive me. Anything? Ah, uh, crap! Harihiro-kun, you know you're not good with your manager, right? You said you were going to quit. You're right. You said that you were fine with an older woman, right? Then if the older woman tried her hardest, you might fall for... Huh? You can't do skinny jeans, right? You're not fat, but you're not skinny. <laughs> I think I want to kick a boy's ass for the first time in my life. Huh? Sorry. You need to be my secretary. Really? Wow, that's amazing! I was worried about where to find a new job. Ugh, you slow man. You said you'd do anything. My secretary's supposed to play the role of doing whatever's necessary. I will deliver your letter of resignation. Leave it to me. Thank you so much for doing all that for me! I made the CEO misunderstand, and I was able to become the CEO's secretary! One week later... This is Haruhiro Nasu, and he'll be working as my secretary from morning till night. I have moved to an apartment near the CEO. Nice to meet you all. Great job! Great job coming here! You're the one that made the CEO's blouse explode twice, and you handled it twice! Yes! We've been waiting for you. The male employees haven't been able to go near her at all. You know how it can look horrible nowadays. We could grow even more gentlemen! It's the first time anyone has ever counted on me! It's the first time I realized how much pressure I've been putting on everyone. Kaho-san, I'll go with you to the meeting next week. There are two confirmed old men who love big ones, so I'll protect you. Woo, that's amazing! Thank you! But that researching ability is kind of scary. How do you research that stuff? Huh? I just show them pictures of you while measuring their change in heart rate and blood pressure. Yeah, that's scary. That's how your test enemy spies. Oh, Kaho-san, it's 5 p.m. Let's go home. The tomatoes are really cheap at the store today. Let's swing by on the way home. Yay! You made me dinner almost every day. It's so nice. By the way, Haruhiro-kun? Yes? Do you like anyone? Nope, not at all. <laughs> I get it. I know why you're not popular. You've been throwing away chances that have come your way this whole time. All right, Kaho-san. Let me see your blouse. I'm happy that you ironed my clothes, but you know I'm like a girl. I'm almost 30, bud. I don't bring personal details into the workplace. Ugh, I said you've got to do everything, and now you're never out of work mode. Hey, Kaho-san, you ordered clothes again? Oh, I don't have time. If I go to the clothing store, the employees won't leave me alone. You are the kind of woman that needs to try things on before buying them. Excuse me! Stop! There's underwear in there! There's a blouse. The size is... See? I told you! It's small! You wear this, and your buttons are going to burst off again! It was cheap. We'll schedule in buying clothes about twice a month. It's a date. Wait, no, you've got your work-only notepad. Two months later... Yes? The man that's saying incomprehensible things. Is he blonde? Long hair? Um, the CEO is already handling him. I'm already on the way. Nasukun is my employee. He sent in his letter of resignation the correct way as well. <laughs> I stopped it. It hasn't been accepted. Which means that you have recruited our employee unjustly. What? If you want Nasu, you need to go look at the stairs at a hotel with a great night view. Ugh, if you won't take Harahiro-kun, then I guess... 
Are you stupid, ma'am? He's trying to take you! Huh? Really? <clears throat> you are such a sharp man as usual. You are still as stupid as usual! You're just a horrible man! What are you talking about? Male employees of the company?! I have spoken to your CEO about what you've done. <laughs> the CEO is my father. He told me that you're fired. I see. A play with destiny. Do you not know about compliance? If the CEO's relative does something like this and word gets out, it's going to be all over Twitter. It's not Twitter! It's X! Those are your final words. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's make up. No. Cut your hair and fix your attitude. Kaho-san, your orders. You got it. Everyone take him. <laughs> Tomato was fired, and he began his second life as a tomato farmer, but hogs, raccoons, and crows all dug up his crop, and he went under in one season. Kaho-san said, go shower first, before inviting me over. Um, I'm going to come up with an excuse first. I bought this at a store when I made you my secretary. Now, when I made you my secretary. Now it's too small. You've gained three kilograms in three months. It's your fault! You make all this amazing food! You know that it's hard to lose weight at this age! Because the person I like is eating perfectly. Of course I want to make her eat a lot. Did you say you like? I did. Y you little! You're always so full of yourself! <laughs> huh? I pushed the soft part on you. <laughs> it was a very good tackle with your weight behind it. <laughs> you still aren't acting nervous. You're so sweaty. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not! I've never held hands with anyone other than my mom! Right, it's my turn now. Also, don't count your mom as a potential partner. <laughs> don't puff out your chest like that. I have no buttons, so it's fine. Wanna touch? Huh? I'd love to. <laughs> You're finally like a younger boyfriend. It took so long. Here we go. Just so you know, I'm amazing in bed even though I'm almost 30. You take responsibility, hubby. I told her that she's acting all high and mighty, but it's her first time too. Then she laughed at me and got upset. I cook for someone I love every night. I lost two kilograms in a month. It's been five years since I joined the major company, Seven Senses. I'm Toma Hayatomi, 26. Yes! I'm finally done organizing the marketing data. Hmm? What's the matter? I can't think of an advertising strategy at all. Can I take a look? Oh, sure. Hi! Huh? It's true that our company has a broad range of products, but this is just ridiculous. A key holder of a dragon coiled around a sword? Who came up with this? Let's take a look at the supply routes first. Hmm? Hayatomi-kun, behind you. Behind! What? Oh. You were ignoring your own work and helping others with theirs instead again, weren't you? No, that's not true! And then what were you doing? I finished organizing the data you gave me. She looked like she needed help, so I decided to stay behind for a bit. <sighs> Does your stomach hurt? I have medicine for stomach pains! It's prescription medicine, though, so could you check if you can take it first? Really? You're so... You should direct that energy of yours to your own work instead of others. Her name is Akine Kido, 28. I'm a huge fan of how she's so stoic about work and how she's cold to everyone. She often gets mad at me, though. She probably doesn't like me. Anyways, who came up with this ridiculous idea? Four! It was me! Oh, you? 
Why don't you understand that that epic key holder is gonna cause a revolution? Are you an idiot? You never suck up to me like the others. And although you look pretty young, you never smile. You're the best woman I've ever met. I get what he means. Why don't you coil around me like that dragon is coiling around that sword? I'll be direct with you. Ew. Chief Kani Yashiki is known for his gross hairstyle and creepy actions. He's only 32, but already a chief. His father is a senior executive manager, and he proudly tells everyone that he got his position using his connection with him. I wonder until when you'll be able to be so brash with me. Forever. It's already five, so I'm going to go home. Doing overtime under someone like him is a waste of brain power. Let's go home. Dinner at home was the usual. My dad suddenly got up his seat and shouted. Can't he be more quiet? I'm not going to be single anymore, Toma! You're in a bad mood since the Benji Shoga Tempura was all sold out. I'll buy you some tomorrow. You're so grown up now! You even give 80% of your salary to this house! You raised me on your own, right? It's the least I can do to pay you back. It looks like you don't need me anymore. That's why I'm gonna get married. This is Masayo Hayatomi, 52. My mother passed away before I could even remember, and so... He raised me on his own and supported me until college. I bought a house and nearly constructed one. Seriously? Me and my new girlfriend met when she got mad at me for getting drunk when it was still morning. Huh? I guess that means she's a good person, though. We're going to be living in our new house from next week. Oh, apparently she has a daughter that's two years older than you. Don't say that like we're throwing a home party. Don't worry, though. I'll do my best to get along with her. Ugh. This house is ten times larger than I thought. Dad? You need to turn yourself in. Say, so you don't know what I do for a living. I don't! The first time I ever lied in my life was when I said you were a public servant in an assignment I had to turn in elementary school. I'm an investor! I actually earn a lot of money. You could have told me that sooner. Sorry, I didn't say anything since I thought it would sound like I was bragging. How humble. Welcome to our new house. Your new mom and sister are already here, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I heard you and my dad have been getting along, so I hope we can get along from now as well. My, my. You have such a polite child, Masao-san. Akine, come and say hello. Yeah, apparently, my new stepsister had the same name as a senpai I respected at work. I guess this is fate. Hello. I'm your new sister. Uh, um, what? You're a Akira senpai, right? Call me sister from now on. But the Akira senpai I know was cold to everyone, and... And I quit that. And you're always so calm. I heard what you said the other day. You like girls that have a bright personality, right? I changed myself since I was now going to be your sister. I don't remember saying anything like that. Cats are the best. I love how they're so calm. <laughs> Dogs are better. They'll love you more than any other animal. Wait, I guess I did. I was talking about pets, though. That means that I'm now the perfect sister for you. Understood. All right, then. I'm your boss, Tomokun. You know what that means, right? No, I don't! Does that mean that you want a relationship to remain how it's always been? Stop rubbing against me while smiling. I can't keep up with you suddenly changing personalities. My boss was also now my cheerful new sister. I thought you didn't like me. I'm home. Are you two going out? We got a luxury room at a hotel. We're gonna go and make out. <laughs> We'll be home by tomorrow. Sorry, Tomokun. I guess I have to go and make out with your father. He might get a new brother or sister, so look forward to it. Mom, you don't need to start talking like my dad. It's even worse since you sound like a completely normal person when you say it. Well, have fun, I guess. You going to make dinner? You're going to make dinner, right? Should I put some of my hair in it? So you were home. Yes. I was raised by only my father, so I would often cook. 
Could you tell me why you just suggested putting your hair into the food? Huh? Huh? She just cutely tilted her head. Fine, I don't want to know. I'll go and get some groceries. What? She's clinging to my arm now. She was so fast I couldn't even see her. Okay, let's go together. It's hot, so be careful. It's tempura. Does that mean you want to fry me? I don't know what that means. You're going to eat me right now, right? You drank alcohol, didn't you? Hey! There's food on your cheek! <laughs> yeah, I've been fantasizing a situation like this for so long. Finally! Oh, wait. I'm ready. How did you get all of that to stick to your cheek? I use the adhesive called love. Yeah, it looks like you might have a fever as well. Let me see. Yes! Eat it! Eat it! I want to see you eat the tempura that was on my cheek. Okay. Are you satisfied now? Kia! Kine sounds even more energetic today than she usually was. I was worried that something bad might have happened to her. But I soon realized that I needed to worry about myself more than her. You're still awake, sister? I'll close the door for... Oh. It's almost time, right? We're basically completely in love now. Tom has been licking me with his eyes recently, too. He looks so lustful whenever we're together. Yeah, I want to keep him in my room and take care of him like a pet. But I also realize now that being taken care of is also pretty good. What should I do? <sighs> I guess I should just tie him up first and then decide on what to do. Yep, good idea. Yeah. Akine-san's walls were covered with pictures of me. Akine-san? Happy? Have you heard of uh, Seito Tsushiyaz's Keo Kaya Kuyo? Hmm? What's that? It's a room filled with the faces of people who messed up. It looks like I'm having a solo concert in this room. That means I'm gonna die soon, right? Um, this isn't what you think it is. This is a record I keep to manage your condition day by day. I can tell just by looking at your face what mood you're in, you see? He looks down today, or something good must have happened to him today, I think to myself. I need to manage stuff like that for you as your sister, and by tying you up, I meant that in a good way as well. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. But there are pictures of me from five years ago when I first joined Seven Senses. I'm a time traveler. That's the excuse you came up with after thinking for so long? Don't talk back to me. My Toma would never say things like that. You know what will happen if you tell anyone else about this, right? If I were you, I'd just knock myself out so I would forget. This is scary, right? But this is a necessary ritual for you and me to find happiness together. I'll reward you once it's done, alright? <laughs> alright then. There's no use in trying to run away, okay? Hope ya? Akane san, could you give me the reward right now? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. To tell you the truth, I've liked you for a long time now, Akane san. But for some reason, I thought that you didn't like me. <laughs> I just have terrible communication skills. I felt like burning the office down whenever I saw you talking with other girls. See? That's what I like about you. You're being so forward with me suddenly. I'm a bit scared. I want the person who's going to be my wife to have the same values as me, you see? I don't know what you're talking about anymore, little brother. I'm going to understand what a yonder is completely. Hmm? I want to know everything about you. From 1 to 240 million. I'd be fine with 1 to 10, but that number is so exotic, I feel like I'm going to burst, you know? Did you know that the only people who have the right to tie others up are people who are prepared to get tied up themselves? What? You're going to tie me up? Uh, um, your facial expression right now is so scary. It's already late, so you should go to bed and sleep already. Why did you close the door? 
I want to take lots of pictures of you as well, and I can decorate my wall. A picture is worth a thousand words, after all. Don't make a new word with my name and decoration. I'm happy more than anything, though. How many people are here, anyways? Way to put it. Um, about 900? That's more of me than I thought. Hmm. I don't have much knowledge when it comes to Yandere, so I think I'll start with 200. Huh? First, your face! Why are you looking away? Aren't you always staring at me yourself? Uh, it's embarrassing. I want a full body shot as well. You have such good style, after all. He, he's interested in my body. This is bad. I was about to be overwhelmed by you, but I regained control now. <sighs> what would you like me to wear? Your normal clothes, please. But I can wear a bikini if you want. I can do cosplays, too. At first, I wanted to tie you up, but now it's okay if you tie me up instead. Would you stop going full yonder so suddenly? I want to learn starting from the basics. If I see you in a bikini, I'll probably have to go bald and become a monk. Since worldly desires would hinder my path to understanding. You're so stoic right now. I don't know whether I should be happy. I know. Do you want to sleep on my lap while I scratch you behind your ear? That's a good idea, right? I do want to experience stimulation like that. Wow. I feel like my nose is going to start bleeding since I'm so excited. Sorry if it falls on you. A reward is yonder treatment topped with some nose blood, huh? That's my first time, so I'll go light on the toppings. My exciting new relationship with my yonder sister started after one month. I was able to prove that it was the ultimate way for someone to love you. This is great! Hey, the chief approached me again today. He even said that if I don't spend a night with him, he's going to use his father's influence to get me fired from my job. He hugged me from behind as well, trying to touch my boobs. Where did Kaniyashiki-san live again? Who knows? Why? I just thought of capturing ten wild boars from the mountains and releasing them in his house. <laughs> what a wild idea. He did all that to you? Bastard. I'm gonna use all I have to crush him. Wow. I love you, Toma. Yonder, the best partner one can have, right, Dad? Leave it to me! There's no turning back now! Prepare yourselves! Right, honey? Right, Masayo-san. The next day, I went to work with my dad. He shouldn't take the boyfriend of Yonder lightly. I left all the reason I had at home. Ura! Good morning, Chief! Nice weather today, right? Oh, uh, good, huh? Sal told me. Why are you talking like a character from Tokyo Revengers? Is there a guy in this world who just stands by and watches while some dude bothers his honey? I don't think so. Dad! This is ridiculous! He suddenly started picking a fight with me! Punch him! With the fist called authority! Idiot. I jump up! No one's punched me in the face in my life! To think that my dad would be the first one to do so? Who do you think you're messing with, my idiot of a son? Hello! Who's this dumb looking guy? Go home! This is a mega corporation! God? Dad! You only really have to punch me twice, it hurts! This man is the closest there is to God on Earth. A golden stockholder. He's a Virgo, my soul sama. Huh? There's a portrait of Tamer and Akinachan in the house. One where they already have children, even though they've only got to sleeping on each other's laps. My son is already a yes man. Do you know what this means, canny bastard? They already practice childbirth. We can't stop them now. They really need to get married soon. I have no choice but to train them to at least resemble a regular husband and wife now. And you are in my way. Yes. Please don't go anywhere near my honey again. Otherwise, my dad is going to give you hell in the next meeting between stockholders. You won't get mad at me for using my dad's influence, right? 
You threatened to use your dad's influence to get Akane fired if she didn't spend a night with you after all. Get off the boat, son. Oh, um, uh... Thank you for everything until now! Apparently, Chief Kabayashiki started going to the aquarium every day to watch horseshoe crabs after quitting his job. These aren't crabs, by the way. That night at Toma's house. Um... I completely understand yonders now. Oh, okay. I came up with the conclusion that if we're gonna have children, we can't be so mentally unstable all the time. Yep, I agree. So, what's with the outfit? You know what it is! I called you here today to talk about something important after all. Yeah, and that's why I came in this sexy outfit. I did as well! Sorry. You became an idiot because I was being too much of a yandere. I thought this was a man's formal attire. Out of Kuhn from our branch in the United States said so. I see. Why don't you put down the glass first? <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't told you why I fell in love with you yet, right? We were brought together by fate! I'm going to shut that mouth of yours with a kiss until you faint. I... I didn't prepare for this situation. You're kind to everyone, and you were even friendly towards me, even though everyone else avoided me, right? That's why I kind of lost control, since it was you, but you accepted even that. But whatever the person you like does is cute, you know? And that's what I like about you. I'm not going to be a yandere anymore. <laughs> Except for tonight, though. All right. I wonder whether I should tie you up now. But please be gentle with me! One year later, our beautiful first child was born. We couldn't afford to be mentally unstable anymore. From now on, we'll figure things out as husband and wife. <laughs>